Welcome to Coralizer. This tutorial describes the use of sessions and archives. In the previous tutorials, we learned how to load and manipulate core section images and data. Once you've positioned cores and plotted data to your heart's content, you can save that state in a session file so you can reload it later. Before doing so, you may want to rename your session first. If you loaded images without initially creating a session through the file create a session mechanism, uh, it will be, your session will be named default and you may want to change that. To do so, if you right click on the session and choose rename, you can then give it any name you like. So once you're happy with the name, we'll actually save the session. And to do that, we go to File, Save Session As. And this dialog is one you'll be able to skip through almost all the time. Usually you'll only have a single session loaded at a time, and thus you'll want to save that session. Uh, if you have multiple sessions active when you choose to save a session, you'll be able to check which ones you want to save. So it is possible to save more than one session in a single session file. But again, for the most part, you'll only have one session open, and that is the case here, so we'll just click OK. And then we'll choose where we want to save this and what we want to call it. I'm just going to rewrite over this one, Coralizer Demo 5A. So click Save, and this session is now saved. So if I right-click on it again and close it, and confirm that I want to close it, and maybe load up some other images just for fun, Load up a few images from Tricana. Okay, so now we have some more images, and let's say we wanted to pull our session into this to compare to the Tricana cores for some reason. Uh, to do that, go back to the file menu and choose Open a Session File, and navigate to the location you saved that session file in and open it. And as you can see now, my graphs and all my section images are positioned just as they were before and are playing nicely with the Tricana cores. So I'm going to close Tricana for now. Uh, now one thing I'd like to do is look at a session file for one second. You'll notice that a session file, uh, this one, is only 9 kilobytes, which is extremely small considering that it represents uh, many, many megabytes if not gigabytes in the case of, of uh, files or sessions with more images, uh, of data. And it's only 9 kilobytes. And the reason for that, that it can be so small, is that it only contains references to the data that's resident on your machine, that's stored on your machine. Uh, so if you were to transfer a session file to someone else and they tried to load it in Coralizer, they would not succeed because those data and images are not present on their machine. Uh, in order to share data, if you did want to do that, uh, which likely you will at some point, uh, you need to create what's called a core archive, and that will create a file that includes uh, all of the data, all of the imagery, basically everything that's needed to recreate this Coralizer session in uh, a Coralizer on another machine. Uh, so to do that, it's very simple. Uh, click the File menu and go to Core Archive and choose Export, and then choose a name. I'll just call this Demo 5A, and then choose where you're actually going to save that file and the name of the file. So I'll call it demo 5a again. Oops. Uh, I'm being asked if I want to clean up an old project during temp. I'll say yes. And then I'll load on the progress bar. It's exporting track and images and then doing some compression. So this will take uh, a bit of time. I do not have many images. If you had a lot of images, like all things in Coralizer, it will take more time. Okay, so the export has succeeded. So now if I close this file, or rather this session, excuse me. If I close the session, things gone, and now suppose I am the receiver of, of this core archive file you've sent to me. To open it, I would go to File, Core Archive Import, choose the core archive file, and wait a bit as it uncompresses and does its business. Hopefully, if all has gone well, we should see all of our images and graphs shortly. And there you have it. 
So that is how you share files by using the core archive import and export mechanism. Uh, to save your state locally, you can just use save session. Um, so it's just important to understand that distinction. And that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.